Hi, hey, we're Purple Orange, Orange and you're watching EntertainmentWindsor.ca. Welcome to EntertainmentWindsor.ca. EWTV. I'm Veronica Mancini. And I'm Sean Ireland. And today we're in beautiful Harrow, checking out Lake Erie and uh, just talking about today's episode. So I know we were on a break for a little bit, Sean. How was your hiatus from EW? Uh, very busy. I was out at the East Coast. My brother got married in Newfoundland. Uh, and then I spent some time up in Northern Ontario as well. Uh, how was your vacation? We went to Palm Beach, Florida, and just stayed there, soaked up the sun, and came back to this beautiful weather. So I'm I'm happy, rested, Good. and we're going back to EWTV, which I'm glad that we're doing. Good for you. So Sean Nather, we're well rested. I know we have a great webisode on EWTV. We're starting off with Purple Orange, this great group from the outskirts of Windsor. Corda Productions presents Fearless Frida and the Giant. It's one of their first kids' productions. We have exclusive footage of the new zombie movie that's coming out this fall, Run Like Hell. And we'll be profiling actress, director and writer Cindy Lee Lambert. Veronica, I understand you had a chance to speak to the band Purple Orange. They were playing at the Whiskey. I know that they're local county boys, Bell River, Amherstburg, and, and Kingsville. And Kingsville. Yes, I had a chance to talk to the talented guys from the outskirts of Windsor. And here's the clip. Monica Mancini, I'm here with Purple Orange. Hi guys, how are you? Great, thanks. Fantastic. Great. That's good. I want to know a little bit about Purple Orange. Well, Purple Orange is, um, you know, just a few fellows like us. We're good friends and uh, we like to play uh, great music, have a good time while we do it and, um, you know, help other people have a good time, dance, party. Help us help you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, we're just... Uh, Three altruistic dudes, you know, looking out for our fellow man and delivering that. Uh, what was that? Delivering word? some kick ass tunes <laughs> here and there, you know? Altruistic? That's a big word. That's a huge word. <laughs> we don't, purple ones don't use big words like that. <laughs> What's your music about? Life, my life, everything about it. The good times, the bad good, times. Good, good times, bad times. <laughs> and the times well, in between. When there's bad times, a sort of sappy song comes out. When there's when there's good times and you want to get you wasted. You got quite a few of them sappy songs. <laughs> you check out some of the heavier stuff. One of our biggest following is out in the county there. It's you know, a very, very tight family basically down there. Uh, everybody's very close. And they, they follow us pretty much everywhere we go. And they are, and it's building up more and more. We play non-stop throughout the Windsor area. Um, we're now going up into Toronto, we're trying to get into Hamilton and London, we played Detroit a few times. No, our, our pop, the popularity is actually going up quite quickly. So how did the name Purple Orange come about? And we were just sitting around, just thought, what two colors do we hate the most? <laughs> it is and, what uh, it is, right? It is what it is. Nothing rhymes with either color. And, uh, For the future, well, a lot of these songs were written um, specifically, they were crafted with harmonies, and, and a lot of these harmonies are what really uh, bring out the emotion and the listener, what move people. So um, by bringing Johnny in the band, we kind of, uh, another one of those situations where we're kind of circling around one another, and then we jam one time, and it just, you know, we say, wow, you know, we need Johnny's voice as a guitar playing in the band with us to help. Yeah. 
accentuate these harmonies. So uh, the future, you know, just uh, gigging with Johnny. It is quite an honor. Um, I mean, these guys are a great bunch of musicians, and uh, I just uh, I'm tickled. <laughs> tickled. Uh, tickled. Tickled. Don't ever use tickled, tickled, tickled again. Stop I'm tickling me. Don't ever use tickled again in an interview, dude. <laughs> Wow, that was great music. Mm -hmm. And I hear that they're going to be performing in Rockstock 09. What is that? Actually, it's a concert um, that's going to take place at the Chatham Airport. And a lot of these bands, they had to bring in their demo tapes to see if they can get voted on. And with, if they do get chosen, hopefully Purple Orange will, they'll play along the likes of Collective Soul as well as Crash Karma. So good luck to Purple Orange. And if they do make it on the weekend of the 15th to play in Chatham, we'll be sure to let you know.